morning from Christy Clinic. That it's time to ask your family physician some questions. Good morning. Good morning. All right, real quickly, Lisa was just talking about the allergies. This is something that is hitting people pretty hard right now. I knew that was the case when my kids all walked in together about a week and a half ago with runny eyes and runny nose. And this is the ragweed season. So in the spring, it's more about pollen, grasses, and also tree pollen. But in the fall, it's mostly about the ragweed. A little bit about the mold as well, but it hit very hard. Uh, it's going to last for a little bit longer. Um, but this is when you would use your allergy medicine. That's what's going on. So a lot of people have come to me thinking that they had a cold. and I saw through that in a minute. It really can feel like a cold. You've got a runny nose, you feel stuffed up, but it could just be allergies. So you're seeing a lot of this right now? Tons of it, yeah. yes. Got to tough through it for a little while longer, right? Yeah, it'll last a little longer. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, on to some more viewer questions now this morning. Let's go ahead and put a, pull up question number one. Sean is wondering, after a hard uphill effort while road biking last week, my friend passed out. Could it be something serious? Well, I would say, Sean, this is actually could be something very serious. Um, that worries me, especially syncope, which is the fancy word for passing out. If that happens during intense exercise, that can be problematic. It could mean that your heart goes into an abnormal rhythm, and you hear about people that collapse during a marathon, for instance, and that could be very that could be fatal even. And also, there's something called high alp or it's called um, hokum or hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, and it's the disease that Jackie Joyner Kersey died of a long time ago. Hank Gathers was a basketball player that collapsed okay. on the court. And this is when the heart is thickened, so when it's trying to pump blood out, especially extra fast, the, the, air, um, the valve is narrow is because of the thickening of the heart, basically, and it's not able to pump blood successfully. And that causes passing out. Oftentimes, those people with HCM or hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, they'll pass out once or twice and then if they don't get it looked at, sometimes they go on to actually collapse and die from that disease. So that would be something that I would definitely say you need to see the doctor for, definitely. Um, and I would do a stress test. A stress test is trying to replicate that same energy-intensive atmosphere that mm -hmm. you were doing while you are riding the bike. Of course, it could be something else. It could be just something like dehydration. It, sure. If it was a hot day, there have been some hot days recently. Um, doing something a little bit out of the ordinary where you weren't really trained to have to that, that kind of exertion, and then you try to tackle a really big hill or something like that. That could happen as well. But amongst all those things, you have to really rule out these serious things that could even be life-threatening. So I'd say get thee to a doctor right away, and a stress test is probably in order. Got to rule out those serious things yeah. if you can. All right. Yeah. Question number two now this morning. Is there any supplement that will help a student retain information or combat test anxiety? A good question as kids are heading back to school. Yes, I have kids my own and I wish I knew the answer to this. I probably <laughs> would be retired by now, yeah. but uh, I don't think that there's any supplement. There's ginkgo biloba is something that we've used in older people to retain memory and uh, studies have been a little bit mixed about if that's helpful or not. I don't think it's ever been studied in kids to see if it helps them retain information. Of course, um, adults use caffeine that's, that's some helpful to a degree about memori memorizing things. Um, that's true, but I don't think I would use that in a kid either. Test anxiety, though, I don't think you can look for a medication to help with test anxiety. That's more of a, a trigger for us. It's a situational anxiety type of issue, mm -hmm. and you might be better off talking to a counselor. And you may feel that test anxiety is not a bad enough problem to talk to a counselor with, but counselors sometimes help us to figure out ways of taking an anxious situation and turning it into something different. Just changing the way we think about something can oftentimes just, that it'll melt the anxiety right there. So that's actually a really valuable skill. Okay. And kids that learn things like that early on in life will go on. That'll help them later in life as well. Okay, very good. We have time for one more question. Let's see if we can pull one more up real quick here. What could help a migraine that has lasted five days? That's a long one. That is. Uh, you may need to be in the hospital or have an injection of pain medication that's stronger than um, medicines that you would take by mouth. Mm -hmm. But I think if you have a migraine that's that bad that lasts for that long and perhaps you've been missing work during that amount of time, the preventative strategies for migraines are much more effective than taking something when you have a migraine. So there are medicines you can take on a daily basis that would prevent a migraine. Topiramate is one of the best medicines and it's by far more successful in treating migraines and preventing them than just taking a medicine as they come on. So you so. want to try to do what you can before it happens rather than react to it. Absolutely. All right, Dr. Walker, thanks so much for joining us. Thank we you. do appreciate it. Remember, this should not replace the advice of your physician. And again, if you are experiencing a health emergency, please do call 911. We have more of the morning show, including your morning rush headlines coming up.